Ага. This is part two of the Upper Mississippi River backwater bassin. Uh, so my dad and I went to the river on a Saturday, a Monday, and a Tuesday, all within the three, four day span. So this video takes place solely on that Tuesday. Um, on Monday, we had that huge uh, storm system come through that kind of devastated a lot of uh, uh, counties and towns throughout Iowa. Um, we were lucky enough to not be on the water during that time. Um, and my dad had the day off, so we went back to the river on Tuesday morning, bright and early. And we, we were thinking we were gonna run into some bass in those same spots that we ran into them on Monday, because they were absolutely just stacked in those backwater spots with current. But to our surprise, there were no fish in the honey hole for Monday. So we tried a couple different spots. We looked for spots close to the same area that had current. And sure enough, we eventually found those bass um, just in a slightly different cut. And I'd say all in all, we probably caught probably caught 35 or 40 fish within that four and a half, five hour time frame. So one of the spots probably produced 40 to 50 pounds of bass. So I think we got a lot of good catches on film for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. I knew you'd get one in there. It's fighting upstream. Is that a, it's a bass, nice one. Large mouth. It's a good large mouth. He's smoking the good ones. Yours is a nice one. Yours has got a big head on him. Yeah, he does. Cool, Dad. Cool. Got him? Walleye, nice one. Really nice walleye. A mixed bag double. Dude, that's that's a nice looking walleye. He is a 18-19. He's a legal keeper. That sounded so weird. That's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. Chunker. Nice. Man. How many of them we catch are rough? I know. I don't know if that's from the spawn or what. I got one. Texan Megan. Yeah, they won't hit the menace in there, but they'll hit the plastics on the power worm. This is the new spot. Thought I barely felt that. 
It seems it's so weird when things get scared in the background. Yeah. Did you have one too? No, I keep. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, that's maybe my biggest one. He's longer. It's probably a 15 or 16. <sighs> this is incredible. I didn't think we were going to be be able to replicate what happened yesterday, especially after they weren't in there, but there's a boatload of fish in here. 16 incher. I got one too. Oh, I had one too. That is crazy. Was it a smallie? Another dang largemouth. They're getting bigger. Coming down here. He was further out, I think, based on where I saw you set the hook. Cool. Probably another 15, 16. I bet he's over 14. Still a nice one. There's trees in there he was getting cut on. Caught on. No, he's on. You saw him get caught in those trees though. Well, at first it gave, but then it got caught in two separate trees. And it's all they do. They're just feeding. It's a nice one. Uh huh. No, I think it's a Larry. Just like the rest, I think. The nice one. Got one too? I know, so is mine. In that shallow water, they really fight. Uh huh. Yours is a bass too. Nice. <laughs> True, yeah, maybe it's stronger than we think. There's another one. When you get one excited, you get a couple of them excited. Really? It's got a good belly on him, man. Nice fish. Uh-huh. Number five. We'll see. That is smart team. Fourteen. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was impossible to catch up. My gosh. Did you see how fast I was reeling? I thought he came off. It's a 
decent. I don't know how big he is. He's decent though. It's a smallmouth. I have no idea, man. It doesn't make sense, does it? You can't what? You got nervous? I think that's nine, to be honest. <laughs> 